Hello everyone, I'm back with another tutorial. It's been a while, I haven't really felt like uploading anything in a while, but we're back. I just quickly wanted to let you guys know that me and a friend started a new YouTube channel called LimeQT. It is in the top link in the description. It's gaming content in general, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be great fun, and I hope you guys want to join our journey. So yeah, uh, top link in the description. So a long time ago, I got a comment asking me how I could make only a specific pickaxe to destroy a block and drop a specific item and that is fairly easy to do actually i can think of at least two ways of doing it the first one would be to just make uh, the harvest level of the pickaxe extremely high but i'm not going to do that since that that's like the easy way out uh, but that would also affect other parts of the gameplay but you could just put this above three since three is normally the highest in minecraft being diamond and anything above that will be able to destroy more. So uh, whenever you create a block, if you create a custom block, you would just have to put the, the harvest level required to the same number as your harvest level on the pickaxe. Instead, I put the harvest level to two, which is the equivalent of iron, just to show you that uh, it doesn't have to be a strong tool, just a specific tool. And then I have a script here, um, which we'll be looking at, and it's a very simple script. So uh, let's just really quickly make that. This script is extremely simple to make. Um, so first off, what you want to do is you want to go into flow control and get an if statement. After you get your if statement, you want to go into logic and you want to take this yellow equals here. Um, then you want to go up to block data and get block at X, Y, and C. Then after that, you want to go into Minecraft components and get this yellow block here. Now you want to put this to whatever block you're searching for. I'll be searching for stone. After that, you want to go down to the do area here and you want to go up here and search for spawn item and you want to go with this one spawn item gen at xyz pick up the del uh, delay and spawn it looks like this here you will be selecting whatever item you want the block to drop when you're mining it with this specific pickaxe here so what you want to do is you want to drag these three out here you want to go into math you want to pick up this here and you want to go into math again and want to pick up the number here and put that number to 0 0.5 and now copy this three times so you have all x y and c coordinates and then drag them into their corresponding part here now this is all we need to do for the script so after we save this we go back into rainbow pickaxe and make sure your script here is assigned to when block destroyed with tool and when that is done we can open up our game all right so just to show you that uh, the diamond pickaxe is stronger than a rainbow pickaxe i will just quickly be destroying here the uh um obsidian you see i can do it with the diamond pickaxe but i can't do it with the rainbow pickaxe and uh also the reason why my pickaxes aren't swinging is because i have haste fiber on to make the process go a little faster but since that's faster than vanilla minecraft is allowing it it cancels the animation so that's why but yeah as you can see it doesn't uh break obsidian you want get the obsidian because it's only the same level as an iron pickaxe but yeah if you restore a normal stone blocks with a with a diamond pickaxe you will see it drops cobblestone if you do it with a rainbow pickaxe it drops cobblestone and a diamond and if you go into creative mode you can see if you break it it won't drop anything because you're in creative mode so that's how simple you can make the script now if you wanted to drop multiple items or multiple of the same item all you could do is take a repeat and put it in here and then grab a number and repeat this i say just three times now when we will break a block it will break three items it will drop us three diamonds instead so you'll see now if we destroy the stone block now that we've updated the script it starts raining but yeah we'll, we'll get three diamonds now instead so that's pretty cool all right now we'll make it a little more complicated this is what it currently looks like but let's say if we want to make the draw random like it could either be one two or three diamonds and uh, this is how you'll do it first you want to go over here to the right side under local variables and you'll add a new local variable and then you will name the variable anything really doesn't matter as long as you can remember it i'm just going to name it random number because it generates us a random number um and then you'll go under variable type and put it to a number else it won't work now uh, with this you want to go under custom variables and you want to go under set uh local then you'll just take random zero to one here which will every time it destroys a block this will create a random number between zero and one 
So that's essentially what it's doing. But now from here on, what we will do is we want to go under logic and we want to take this out and we'll change it to and and I'll like to change it to external inputs like this. And then we'll add it onto here onto the if statement and put the get block here as well. And then we'll put uh, under custom variables, we'll take the get lo uh, get local random number as well as a math and we will take under logic we'll take this dark blue equal sign and we'll change it to bottom one here which is kind of like an arrow and a, a line underneath it which means it's either equal or above so we'll put these two in here like this and put this to 0 0.8 you can put this to anything the higher the number it is the lower chance it gets so 0 0.8 is pretty high so that will be 20 percent chance uh, and then we'll put that in here so if the lump number it's generating is above 0 0.8 then it will execute this command down here which will spawn us three diamonds at this location so essentially what it's doing now is checking for two things instead of just one thing before it just checked for the block now it's also checking for if the number that we're trading up here every time we're destroying a block is above 0 0.8 and if it is, it will execute the command. If not, it won't do anything. And what you would do to make it more random is you would do else if and put an else if statement onto here. You can copy this here, copy that down. It's the exact, exact same thing you're going to need, except you want to change this to whatever valuable you want to do now. Just want to put the highest number first. Uh, in that way, it's checking for the least chance first. So you'll be getting the best drop possible first. Because if it finds... Uh, this up here it won't check for all the others below it so you want to have the highest or the lowest chance first because if you have the highest chance first it won't work because if that get, goes through it won't check for anything above that so i'm gonna change this to 0 0.5 with five it makes like 50 percent chance of it wanting to spawn two diamonds so what i'm gonna do is copy this and put it down here and change it to two now i want to make the last one one diamond and i want to make it a hundred percent chance at least every time it's going to drop at least one diamond we don't need to check for the number because it's going to be 100 percent so it's always just going to be zero one between zero and one so what we can just do actually is copy this and then add another else if statement here and then put that up here so now it's only got to check for this block now and then it's not going to repeat anything so we can just put the spawn gem down here and now our script is actually done. So if we save this, we can launch up our game and see if it will work. Now in the game, and we need to show you that it will be random now, whatever it drops. So if we break the first one, this one drops two diamonds, which means the number was above 0 0.5. This one's also above 0 0.5. This one only dropped one, so that is below 0 0.5. That's also below 0 0.5. Let's see if we can get a lucky here. That's also below 0 0.5. And there we got a three diamonds. Uh, so that means that's above 0 0.8. So you can see this fully works. This is two diamonds. So it's really random what you're going to get. I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and if it helped you out, make sure to leave a comment and like the video. It helps me out a lot. And uh, if, you, if I miss anything, make sure to leave it in comments and I'll see if I can uh, help you guys out with that as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.